How's it going everyone? My name is Forge. Now during E3, we got a lot of announcements. And one of the first announcements we got was about Minecraft Dungeons. Now we know that Minecraft Dungeons was a game that was announced during Minecon of 2018. And we were all waiting for some more information, which we never did get more information about the game. But now they actually just came back and they said that not only is it coming to PC, but it's also coming to Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Xbox Game Pass in spring of 2020. So we have to wait another year before this game is released. Of course, you can go and sign up for updates so you get the latest news first and latest events first and early access to the game. Now, I'm definitely going to be getting this game. You can expect a series on this game or on the channel whenever it does release because I am definitely looking forward to this game. Now, we do have ourselves a trailer, but we're going to go and talk about the trailer here in a bit. But let's go ahead and read about this. So Dungeon Creeper, battle the new and nasty mobs in this all new action adventure inspired by classic dungeon crawlers. We have multiplayer, up to four players can team up and fight together in local and online co-op modes. We have power up, unlock dozens of unique items and weapon enchantments for devastating special attacks. And that looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of a Dragon Ball Z attack, like the Gallic Gun from Vegeta. Definitely reminds me of that. We have Epicness. Explore treasure stuffed levels in a quest to take down the evil Arch Illager. Alrighty then, so we got ourselves our main baddie guy. We got the Arch Illager, and yes, it said baddie guy. So you can just ignore that. But then we got options. Personalize your character, then fight up close and personal with melee swings. Hang back with ranged weapons like bows, or tank your way through swarms of mobs shielded by heavy armor. I'll look at all those Vindicators. And it looks like a new type of weapon as well, new type of battle axe. But everything does look really, really cool and really well done. Then we got Mojang, the first standalone game developed by Mojang and is set in the Minecraft universe since, well, Minecraft. I mean, you never know. We might see some of these new blocks, some of the new mobs, and some of the new items added to Minecraft in the future. But one of the main reasons why they're doing Micro Dungeons is because they want to expand Minecraft and they want to be able to introduce mobs that they can't do in the core game. They don't want Minecraft to be infected with all these brand new crazy mobs. And then Minecraft wouldn't feel like Minecraft anymore. So Micro Dungeons is going to be filling that gap. And so that way we get all those crazy things. But you never know. Some of these things might come into the official Minecraft game in the near future. Now I'm not saying that we're going to be getting crazy mobs like that in the game. Or crazy mobs like that or that, or perhaps that. I'm saying that we might be seeing more new types of zombies, new types of illagers, and much more. I mean, you just never know what's gonna happen. Some of these could always come later on. And the next thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is take a look at the trailer. So we're gonna go ahead and just analyze this together, and let's go ahead and watch this. So we got ourselves a crazy mob. That's absolutely crazy. I'm actually gonna turn that down a little. Um, from the creators of Minecraft. What do we have here? Oh, look at this world. This is pretty cool. So we've got a Vindicator walking around. we got the Skeleton Army. So I'm guessing that's going to be like one of the bosses that we saw with the Green Scepter. we got Creepers, Skeletons, and Zombies. Then here is our character. Not to say the worlds look really, really good. I like how the worlds look. we got Lanterns there. So it looks like you can pick up armor. Which is pretty great. you got different areas that you can go and open up. you got Battle Hammers, which you can go ahead and use to attack the mobs. You can open up different crypts and get brand new chests. I mean, everything just looks really, really cool and interesting. Now, one other thing is that this really does remind me of Gauntlet. Because with Gauntlet, of course, that was a really classic dungeon crawler that I actually played quite a lot with my father back in the day. And this game definitely really does remind me of that. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a sleeping key. So you hit those keys and you need to take those to the door. Oh, wow. We haven't even got ourselves food. So we can eat food. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of Gauntlet quite a bit. But look at those power-ups. That is pretty cool. Look at that army. Did you guys see the army? I gotta go back for a minute. Look at that. Oh, come on. Let me go back. Look at all of these mobs there. Look at all of those things. Okay, let's go and pause it right at the right moment. Right there. Look at all those Vindicators. Oh my gosh. I've never seen that many Vindicators in my life. That's crazy. Who is this Arch Illager? Seriously? And look at that. That is one crazy looking golem. 
Oh my goodness. Things are going crazy. My mind is exploding right now. I mean, this game is going to be really, really good. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm like looking forward to this. Uh, but look at that. It says, coming spring 2020, they've got Windows, which Ray knew. And then they just now announced Xbox One, Game Pass, uh, Switch, and PS4, as I mentioned earlier. And, I mean, I'm just looking forward to this game. It's going to be one of those really interesting games when it first comes out. And as I mentioned, I'm definitely going to be making a series on this game. Once it does end up releasing next year, I mean, trust me, I'm I'm ready for it. I really am. But let me know of what you think of this down below in the comments. Are you looking forward to Minecraft Dungeons? And do you think that it's going to hold up to be a really great game? Just go ahead and let me know down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe for more videos in the future. And for now, I hope you have a logical day. And I will catch you guys next time.